You are made for a relationship with Jesus, for a relationship with God. That's what you're made for. And obviously that comes with limitations. So I was watching a video earlier about limitations. And the video didn't have anything to do with Christianity. Actually, it was about filmmaking. But it made me think about the Ten Commandments. I thought about the limitations that we as Christians might feel or even as non-Christians might think of when we think of Christianity. We think of limitations, you shall not do X, Y, Z, right? Well, the point of the video that I watched was that limitations are good, that limitations are helpful. And I thought about that. And I, I read the Ten Commandments and even like the golden rule that Jesus gives us, you know, to love God with all your heart, soul, mind and strength and your neighbor as yourself. And I thought about how these commandments, these God-given limitations are actually super helpful. I thought about how these limitations can really be a blessing, how he creates them to help us, how he creates them to maybe even heal us or protect us, and how they help us to stay or to become or to be focused. And I want to encourage you with this thought to not see Christian limitations as something bad, or something where you are limited as in your personality, but actually as something that God gives us to protect us. For example, you shall not lie. Well, lying produces hurt and all kind of mess around you, or you shall not commit adultery. I mean, you know, we know that sex out of marriage or sex out of any relationship just creates a big mess. And then positive limitations, for example, you shall love God with all your heart, soul, mind and strength. Obviously, that means put God first. And if we put God first, obviously, it builds the relationship with him. It puts our focus back in order the way God meant us to be, the, God, the way God made us to be. We're not made to just live in our flesh. We are made... We're a spirit, we're made to please God, to live with God, and to, to move forward, to, to do stuff with and for Him. You are made for a relationship with Jesus, for a relationship with God, that's what you're made for. And obviously that comes with limitations, limitations that help you grow in this relationship. Because if, we, if God would say, we can do whatever we want, that would leave us with nothing, literally with nothing. We think we have everything because we are allowed to do everything. But in the end, we have nothing because we would have... <laughs> Indeed, we live in a time where we have, we're almost limitless. But here in the West especially, we have so much. Almost limitless. <laughs> Does it do us good? No, we're overwhelmed. We have option fatigue look at social media and uh, content the content load that is available for everyone right now on this earth we're overloaded with stuff does it do us good i think everyone can agree no <laughs> so limitations are a blessing and are there to help us so my encouragement for you is to not see god's limitations or commandments as a curse, as something negative, but actually as something that builds and strengthens the relationship with Him. But I tell you, those were the moments where God really showed up and really important to me and really set me free.